Welcome back. Marcus Lattimore and Heath Wood hey. Hall in the Low Country taking on Porter Gout, former Clemson tight end, Stanton second year, and assistant for the Cyclones. We pick it up on Porter Gout's first drive. Eric Jackson gets the handoff, weaving it better than a sweet grass basket maker right there. He is going all the way to the 17 yard line. Hey, by the way, breaking news, guys, there's a T Rex in West Ashley. Really? Watch out! Really? Watch out! All right, by the way, Oliver Michaud, the Cyclones quarterback, doesn't have T Rex arms. He can toss that rock pretty well. Just checking out, rolling left, keeping the play alive, and then tossing it to Dante Smith for an easy score as Porter Gow gets an easy win, 35 to 7, over Keith Woodhall. You know what, Marcus Lattimore cannot win here. I'm starting to realize that. Man, you know I what? He won with Carolina, him. though. He had some great years there, and you just got to trust the guy. He's a good guy, so we're rooting for him, except when they're in the low country taking on our teams. Yeah. Well, anyway. Speaking of our teams, mm -hmm. Ashley Ridge, Somerville. Somerville used to have the respect. They're trying to get that back now, Evan. Yeah, and they're doing it with a sophomore quarterback. Jonathan Bennett, head coach Joe Call, says Bennett, one of the best he's ever worked with. Some really high praise from Call. Uh, his Green Wave team trying to improve the 2-0 in the region, wave. hosting the crosstown rival, Ashley Ridge. Somerville's opening drive near midfield. JB Rain, two gloves. Paul in. Jonathan Bennett scoring. Six nothing. How about that touchdown? He is fired up and he's got the green wave fired ah. up. The extra point, no good though, and back comes the Ridge. This might be the play of the game. Russell Montgomery with the screen pass to Hakeem Ellington. Cuts back inside. Hakeem, the dream! Oh my he just did that to you! Wow. That just happened! Ridge yeah. takes a 7-6 lead. Whew. That took a lot he out of me right there. I'm not even playing right here. I need a That's water break, guys. All right, same score. Back comes the Ridge. Montgomery decides to keep it and watch out. Watch out. U-Haul truck. Oh. Boom! No, it's a Mack truck right there. That was crazy. I can't get over these highlights. Ashley Ridge put that 14-6 lead, and then, boom, that's Cyrus Clark giving them those 14 points. I got to catch my wow, breath after that, that, that one. Was, that was Look at that score. I mean, who won the game? Just ah, take it out. 24-21. Ashley Ridge knocks off some of them. I can't believe it. All right, slow down before you get a heart attack. Oceanside Academy at St. John's. Two teams under 500. Islanders come on on top. Cameron Smiley rolls right, finds his wide receiver who's just short of the goal line, sets it up for Lorenz Givens from the one yard and guess what his points pouring in John's Island. We keep it with the family. TJ Givens not going down on this next play. He reaches into the end zone. St. John's would roll over Oceanside Academy 53 to six. Call the Berkeley County beat man Raymond Owens. We got two rivals squaring off in St. Stephen Berkeley at Timberland. Ooh. First snap of the game was a fumble. Gives Timberland the ball and here's James Alston, you finally see the call from the referee. Where is it? Where is it? It's a touchdown. Timberland jumping ahead. 7-0. But back comes Berkeley. Darius Douglas to Matthew Dress. He dresses to impress. A slippery guy as you see him slip out of that tackle. That's right. No one can catch him. We got a tie ball game. 7-7. Later, Berkeley ball again. Same score. Twice. Darius Douglas, D squared. Going up top to Davian Moore. Hey, ladies, take a number because he has reservations for six. We got a full Stop. house as Berkeley beats Timberland 35 to 13. Finally, so crazy. Yeah, Northwood Academy at home on Hilton Head. Hilton Head Christian Academy picked things up in the third quarter with Northwood already leading 28 7. Nolan Lynchfield lobs it up to Dante Jackson in the corner of the end zone. There it is. And it's good, making it a 35 7 ball game. Strong defense, defense from the Chargers finally forces the punt and Cameron Roberts as blockers finds a gap. Uh, he's going to take this one all the way. Cam, Cam, 47-2 for him to the end zone, to the house. He's gone. They go on to win this one. Northwood, 42-13. to Hurricane season in full force at First Baptist High School, that is. The Canes hosting Hilton Head Prep. First Baptist running back Michael Dukes gets the handoff right here and just a few of his 185 yards on the game. Oh my gosh. Over 1,000 for the season now. He had three touchdowns as First Baptist would have many touchdowns and a 51 to seven win. We've got more blitz on two still to come on the other side of the break. We've got a big day in college football, Brandon. Yeah, of course, the Gamecocks looking for another second road win. They're looking, SEC road win, looking about that more coming up next.